Hi everyone and welcome back to Conquering Math, where it all adds up. In this lesson, I'll be going through the independent practice solutions to the multiplying with negative numbers lesson. If you haven't watched the lesson video yet, you should stop this video, go watch that one first, and then come back to this one when you're ready. All right, let's dive on in. Independent practice number one. Find the product of negative five times negative 10. So first we have to look at the signs of the two numbers. Since they're both negative, that means they match, and that means that the product will be positive. At this point, we just multiply normally. Five times 10 would be 50, so negative five times negative 10 is also 50. Now let's take a look at number two. We need to find the product of negative six times 11. The first thing you should have done when solving this problem was taking a look at the signs of each of the factors. The first factor is negative six, and that's a negative number, and the second factor is 11, that's a positive number. Those signs don't match, so that tells us that our product will be negative. Now you need to take a look at the numbers themselves and six times 11 would be 66. And since the answer has to be negative, we know that negative six times 11 equals negative 66. Independent practice number three. You'll need to find the product of seven times negative three. Once again, the first thing you should have done was look at the signs of the two factors. You have seven, which is a positive number, and you have negative three, which is a negative number. Since the signs don't match, your answer will be negative. Now seven times three equals 21, and the answer has to be negative, so seven times negative three will be negative 21. Last but certainly not least, we have our real world problem. Chase forced his opponent's football team to lose five yards on each of three consecutive plays. What is the other team's change in field position? Your best bet to solve this problem is to start by writing it out in words. This time you're looking for the change in field position for the opposing team. And this is going to be equal to the number of plays times the change in position per play. Now in this case, we know that there were three plays made and that they lost five yards on each play, which means we'll represent the change per play with the number negative five. And since we have three times negative five, we have a positive times a negative. That means we'll have a negative answer. Three times five is 15, so our actual answer is negative 15. So the other team's field position changed by negative 15 yards after Chase's three big plays. Another way to say this is that the other team lost 15 yards over those three plays. So feel free to rewind, pause this video, um, try the problems again as many times as you think is necessary until you really understand the process. Thanks again for joining me for this episode of Conquering Math, where it all adds up, and I'll see you next time.